As a continuation of the previous tutorial, we will now see how the other two thesaurus search options function. We will now examine the exact term search. Use the exact term search when you already know the exact controlled vocabulary term which you are looking for. Since we know x-ray absorption is a valid controlled vocabulary term, we will search for that. Here, we can see the record for x-ray absorption and proceed as we did earlier to build a search. If we do not know a term, or we enter a typo in the exact term search, the system will generate a list of suggestions. Here, we entered a typo. If you see the term you wanted on the list, click on it to view its record. We can continue to add terms to our search box to complete the search, as shown in the previous tutorial. We will now remove these terms from the search box before continuing. We will now examine the third and final search option, Browse. Browse allows us to see a term in the context of an alphabetical index. This is useful to see similar terms and to disambiguate similar terms. We will demonstrate a browse search by searching for the term numerical. Here we can see terms which come both before and after numerical alphabetically. As in the normal search, we can click on a term to view it in detail and see related terms. We can click on our term here to return to our search results. As before, we can continue searching to add more terms to the search box. You do not have to use full words to use the browse search. We can also combine search techniques in order to add terms to the search box. Here we will use the exact term search function to demonstrate this. We can see all three of our search terms that we added in this part of the session in the search box. We can combine them how we like. Here we will use the boolean and and click search. To learn more about searching with Compendex, view our other Compendex tutorials.